color for me makes me crazy. So some of my tips for making a home office is to really make it you, make it personal. Even though you are doing work in it, you still want it to be a space that inspires you. I'm inspired by neutral tones and great pattern. I like the room to be very neutral and then layer in nice warm tones. The right art is always very important in this space. In here, I decided to go very neutral, just blacks and ivories, but to do it very geometric with a lot of pattern. So we have this really cool piece here that has some lines and some circles. And then this is actually one of my art pieces that I did. It's just a really cool piece because it's not too busy. Uh, there's not too much pattern. It's just enough to give the right texture and depth to the wall. So you're getting beautiful texture, you're getting layers, you're getting pattern, but it's not overwhelming with color because color for me makes me crazy and I need to be relaxed. I want this to feel like an office spa. So often home offices are on the smaller side. So in here, I wanted to make the room feel larger than it was. So I took the drapes and I did them all the way to the ceiling. So that way it makes the ceilings feel higher even though they're not. I also did the drapes all the way from wall to wall, which made the space feel even wider than it already was. When putting together a home office, a lot of times people put their desk against a wall because they think, oh, I want more space, so I'm gonna put everything around the perimeter. For me though, even though this room wasn't that large, I still wanted to float the desk in the middle of the room because it just gave a better flow and it allowed me to face the desk towards the view, which is ultimately the star of this room. The thing that sold my husband and I on this house is the view. Every room you go to has the most amazing view of the California Hills, which is ultimately why we moved to California. Useful storage is super important in not just a home office, but especially a small space. I found this beautiful vintage piece that not only has a lot of small drawers, which is great for an office because you can keep things super organized, but it also has three large cabinets with additional adjustable shelves inside that allow me to store all of my work stuff and then also allows my husband to store all the papers he refuses to get rid of. So although this is a smaller space, I still want it to function for multiple purposes. So it's not just about me sitting at the desk working. Often I have my team members come here and we have little mini meetings. So I wanted there to be a cute little space across from the desk for team members to sit. Sometimes I want to curl up in a corner on my laptop or with a book. And so I wanted to make sure I had a nice cozy chair. This one is local here in LA. It's made by Foreman Brothers and it's beautiful. It combines nice ironwork and beautiful brown leathers to just make for a super comfy little corner chair. <laughs>